I wanted to just share this this fabulous page out of this wonderful book that I'm rereading, Light is the New Black. And for anybody that knows me, knows I'm very passionate about looking into legacy and all the ways that we can we can build a trust fund for those that we love, whatever our circumstances are, however many finances we've got or nothing, you know, um, ways that we can give back and, and leave things to those that we care about and charities that we care about. And I just love this little page and wanted to share it. It's called Write Your Own Tagline. So, um, yes, you can uh, you can go and do that later. If you had a legacy, what would it be? The simple act of condensing yourself down into a tagline forces us to really get clear on what it is we most want to share with the world. It doesn't need to be world changing. The tagline acts as a manifesto of who you are and what you stand for. It might sound silly, but the clarity that comes from having your own personal tagline is a godsend when you're faced with a tricky decision. You can weigh up each option and see which fits your tagline. It's also a great measure for checking if your life is aligned. My friend Blair Milan had his own tag tagline, good times. Not someone who suffered from confidence issues, Blair used his tagline any chance he got. When signing off emails, when saying cheers, when someone was describing something that happened to them, when he was relaying a story, you name it, he'd drop it in there. Arriving in Sydney after his death, we went straight into funeral organisation mode. The theme of the wake was good times. And it was the biggest extravaganza that the Sydney Theatre Company had ever seen. Singing, comedy, speeches, videos and montages of things, all Blair. He would have adored the attention. There was even a good times bar as you walked in. Blair lived his life so wholeheartedly in line with his manifesto that every single person knew what Blair had taught them about life. We got good times badges made and everyone still wears them as a tribute to the way he lived his life. Blair's whole life was a devotion to living, noticing, grabbing and appreciating the good times that life has to offer us all. People who barely even knew Blair were touched by the exuberant essence of his spirit. He was so clear on who he was and how he wanted to share his light. You are a rare gift. You have the ability to devote your life to whatever you wish. So what do you want your legacy to be? If you had to write one, what would your tagline be? Work your light. So I just think that's lovely. And I just think it's food for thought for everybody. Whether it's good times bar that you want to be remembered for, for kindness, for working hard, for being a good citizen within the community, for whatever that is, being a good parent. Um, yeah, have a good hard think about that. And um, legacy is certainly the way forward for everybody um, in whatever way that you feel is is appropriate um just leaving your mark and making making a, a good impression and, and and helping lots of people is huge but um yeah it's certainly something that we uh we should think about and and try and think about in a in a positive beautiful way because I think we, you know, we can we can often think, oh goodness, you know, I'm never going to have enough money to leave anybody, and oh, it's all so depressing, and da da da. But but what if we can start to create some sort of magic for those that we love, and start writing our stories, and and yeah, start making making stories and um, creating things that we can leave behind. Anyway, good times bar to all of you. Take care.